So just a little bit of input on some of these smartphones. This last round I went with uh, the cat phones. I got two of them. I got four businesses. I use one for one business and the other for the welding business. I was using the Kia Sarah Torx and boy they sure had a lot better glass on the front of them. I don't know how many times I got mad and just there's a couple times I just straight up threw the phone at a concrete wall. Just didn't want to hear it anymore. Go over, pick it up, use it again. Use it for another couple years. Never broke a screen. Never years and years of dragging my fingers on the screen. Never scratched the glass or anything. Both these are about a year old. You can't see it very well in the camera or anything, but both of the screens right in the middle of them are scuffed where whatever you're looking at is real blurry and that's just from a year's time of having a little bit of dirt on my finger out in the field and doing my little lock code to unlock it and it's just totally obliterated the middle of it um the other thing i'm not happy with about it all and i haven't quite got to the bottom of this we got one of these damn samsung smart tvs a couple years ago boy that was a mistake between the phone spying on me and the TV spying on me, I don't know which one's worse, but the reason I made the video, anybody who thinks these smartphones aren't listening to you all day is naive. They're naive. What I talk about in the shop, you know, and it's not that far from the house, but it's a detached two-car garage, basically, that I'm using for a shop right now. So it's, uh, it's 80 feet, maybe 100 feet to inside the living room where the TV is. What I talk about in the shop when I have company ends up on my YouTube clips on the TV the very next time I turn the TV on. So a couple months ago here, me and my neighbor were talking about 400 small blocks, Chevy's 400 small blocks, and how Pontiac had a 400 small block. Some of them 400 small blocks had pretty impressive torque numbers for coming out of a small block. And we just had about a 30-minute conversation about it and BSed a little bit, and he went back home and Later on that night, me and the girlfriend sit down to eat dinner, turn on the TV, bop over to YouTube. First clip that comes up on YouTube, Pontiac 400 small block. Pretty ironic, huh? Yeah, yeah. So about a week or so later, me and the girlfriend, we were out here in the shop. We were talking about what to have for dinner. <laughs> Excuse me. Made the comment, you know, make some tacos. It's fast. It's easy. And, you know, maybe a couple other things we could do with the tacos or whatever. but. So anyhow, we get inside an hour, two hours later, go to make some dinner. I sit down on the couch, turn on the old smart TV, bop over to YouTube. First clip come up on YouTube, five different ways to cook tacos for dinner. Pretty ironic. That's been going on since I got these phones. And I know the TV, the Samsung high def 8000 series or whatever i know it's got apple play i found so as you can download and play games on your through your phone on your tv but all that stuff's turned off so and the tv's set for what it's worth to not update and so so the phone's listening to me all day long it's just been proven time and time again whatever i'm talking about out in the garage will be on the tv that night so the other thing I don't like about these cat phones, aside from the screens or junk, is constant update. Just It's update city. Every other day, update, update, software update, update this, update that. I hate all that update stuff. It's just like the map apps, you know. Um, before I learned how to get into these cat phones and shut all the auto update stuff down, I'm cruising down the interstate. Uh, I'll just play it smart and map app this place before I get too too far downtown Denver. You know, pull up the map app, can't figure it out, can't make heads or tails out of it, the damn thing updated itself, and so then I had to pull over, I literally pulled, now I'm sitting on the shoulder of the interstate, cars going by doing 80 miles an hour, trying to relearn how to use my map app, because the damn thing updated itself, and I hadn't used it again, so it took me a while, but you can go into Play Store on these cat phones, and you can Everything's four stop. Don't auto update. I got like 22 apps right now trying to update, crying they can't update because it's shut down. So, in in the the cat software itself, the phone's just constantly doing stuff, turning apps off and on. Um, here a couple of weeks ago, Google Carrier Services activated my microphone 
on the one phone in one of my apps. And I've got the phone set to alert me if anything happens app-wise. Everything's shut down. It's not supposed to auto-update or anything. But if it does, I've got the phone set manually to let me know. So, and that's kind of a game in itself because then it's like, sproink, well, something happened and you're looking at the screen. Well, there's no text messages showing. Didn't miss a call. Well, shit, something auto-updated then. So then you got to go into the software, start scanning through your apps real quick. Look, up, oh, Amazon Shopping's back on. Half the stuff just turns itself back on. I think a lot of it's the cat software. But anyhow, I know Google has been getting in there and activating my camera and my microphone. They did that the one day. Sproint got an alert. What the hell? Took me about 10 minutes of surfing through everything. And it was like, wait a minute. There's there's two two OKs on microphone. The only thing that had permission for the microphone was the camera. Now all of a sudden it's telling me there's two permissions for it. What the hell? Dug in there, took me a few, scanning around. Google Carrier Services activated the microphone and activated the camera. So right there is proof. Google is spying on you. They listen to everything you're talking about. It's a total joke. I wish the hell I'd have never got these cat phones. They also, when you get them brand new, cat has so much stuff stuffed in them, you don't got any memory. You're right out the gate. You got like 70% of your memories burned up before you even snap a pick or anything because all the software and all the garbage they've stuffed into these damn phones. So just passing it on. Um, I'm really not happy about the whole phone linking to the TV thing. It just... It really annoys me that what I talk about in the shop is on my TV that night. I think that's just total bullshit. But just passing it on. Wouldn't recommend these to anybody. The memory's full. They're always constantly updating. And the one's acting really weird. If a call comes in and I answer it, then the screen will go black. And I can't hear them. I don't have an option for my microphone because the, the, the screen's dark. And then it'll just start blinking. And I can't hang up. I can't do nothing until they hang up. Then it'll hang up, and then the screen will come back on, and the phone will function again. But I've talked to Cat a couple times. They didn't have much input on any of their stuff. So just take more updates on your software. Yeah, poop on you people. I'm tired of your updates. You know what you can do with your updates. So just passing it on if you're looking for a smartphone. Um, I wish the hell I'd have just got two more Kia Ceratorx. They were way tougher than these cat phones. The glass was better. They're not stuffed full of all this crap either. So, um, But anyhow, that's all this was about, was just uh, passing on some information on these cat phones. So everybody be safe.